Welcome to Thursday Tips, brought to you by Find Houston Senior Care. Our goal is to give you as many resources and uh, as much information as possible to help you make all of the tough decisions that adult children and spouses sometimes have to make. So today's Thursday tip is who are the three people that you need to talk to, three key people that you should talk to if you're looking at an assisted living. And the truth is you're going to end up with the marketer first, okay? Um, I've been the marketer. They're wonderful people and they usually have a real heart for the business. But their main job is to move your mom or dad or whoever it is that you're looking for into their facility. That's their job. So there's a few other people in the community that I think it's really important that you talk to. Number one, talk to the nurse. This person is going to be responsible for making sure that your parent or your loved one is taken care of. Uh, they're going to handle the caregivers. They're going to be the go-to person if you have any concerns or um, uh, want to find out more about what's going on with mom. So you want to meet the nurse. You want to talk to them. You want to get a good feel for them. Uh, it's also important to find a facility where they have a lot of staff retention uh, because that's just going to help your aging parent that much more. It's easier to see the same nurse day after day after day. And we understand that there are changes sometimes. But overall, you want to look kind of for that longevity in your team. So the nurse is a critical piece. Another critical piece, an often overlooked piece, is the activity director. This is really a key person in the care of your aging parent. The activity person is going to be the one that's going to help keep them engaged, keep them involved in the community, help them make friends. Anyone moving uh, someone to an assisted living for the first time, they're going to experience um, a lot of overwhelm. Uh, an aging parent possibly has never lived in any kind of a group community, and it's going to be a new experience. So helping them to acclimate and participate in that community is going to be integral in the health and the welfare and the well-being of, of that person. So talk to the activities person, number two. So we've got the nurse, the activities person. The third person you want to talk to is the executive director. This is the person that's in charge of the operations of the community. So you're going to want to bring up any concerns you may have. Uh, what, what do you have in place in case of an emergency? Uh, what kind of things does the community offer? Uh, do they uh, take care of people in the community if there's, say, a hurricane? Or, or are you expected to pick up your aging parent? Uh, what are their policies? Uh, is your aging parent going to be able to live there until the last days. Uh, these are things that you want to know. These are the three key people that I believe everybody looking at assisted living should have a conversation with. So let's recap that. We've got the nurse, we've got the activities director, and you've got the executive director. Three key people to help your aging parent get the most out of an assisted living experience. I'm Katherine Watson with Fine Houston Senior Care. Like our Facebook page because I'm going to be posting these every week so that you can get more tips on how to deal and how to help an aging parent or loved one. Thanks so much.